so yesterday we were working in the backyard and uh, I was watching Jennifer and she started pulling these weeds down and I said hey hope you're not allergic to poison ivy and she goes whatever I'm not allergic to poison ivy She's allergic to poison ivy. <laughs> Patty is starting to shape up quite a bit. Um, got most of the gravel spread. I'm just doing my final screed over the gravel. Tomorrow I'm going to bring in a compactor and compact the crap out of it. And then go get some sand. We should be ready to be putting down some stones. Awesome. Yeah, pile's getting smaller. I'd say it's less than half right now, which is good. All right, I'm screeding the gravel just one last time before I compact the crap out of it. Just to make sure I don't have any real high, low spots. And then that's what we're gonna do with the sand once we get this compacted down. I ran it all the way up to the edges, thinking that once it's compacted down, I'll probably have about a half inch to three quarters of an inch that uh, will be sand. That's what I really wanted. So it's looking good. All right, I went to Brentwood Rental. I rented a vibratory concrete compactor plate thing. Heavy. That's what I would say. It's heavy. And I put it in the back of the Toyota, brought it home, and AJ helped me get it out. And I thought he was going to have a hernia. That boy needs to quit playing guitar and lift some weights. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at this crazy thing. All right, I got everything screeded down to pretty much level where I want it. That's the bottom end. That's the top end. And this is the compactor. Um, you fill that front tank with water, and it dribbles a little water. It also helps to spray some. Because uh, once it when it's wet it actually helps it crush down. This is crush and run So it really does compact super well, so I'm gonna crank this thing up and we're gonna see how it works Alright, I got done with this part. Holy moly. Um, I threw the water to it on the last couple of passes and you can see that there's a slurry kind of on the top of it. Um, and it is harder to push through here. You kind of have to push it a little bit. But it does make it almost like a concrete, which is what I wanted. So this looks good and Shelby's helping me. Aren't you Shelby Shelby? Are you helping today? Are you helping sweet girl? Oh, Randy's here! Yeah! What's in his hand? Yeah, today. Yeah. Fat tires. Right. How many did was in his hand when he walked up? Like fat tire. How many was in his hand when he walked <laughs> up? There was only one. Well, you like all those little weak. Uh, oh, weak carb okay. Beers, so yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna. Get, I think you wanted a high gravity beer. I guess I'm gonna have to beers. get one of my own beers. Okay. I'll go get you a beer. No, and it's all right. Don't worry about it. It's 2,000 degrees and we're trying to build a steel pagoda, gazebo, whatever you want to call it. I'm excited. Right, so I'm out on my new patio. We've been working on this thing forever. I thought I'd give you a little tour of what's going on. we got a graduation party for my middle son, Zach. Uh, and we just basically hid the crap is what we did. <laughs> Sitting out here relaxing, I can smell that hardwood. There it is. The smoke kind of wafting over here of that brisket smoking. It is unbelievably crazy good smelling. Jeez Louise. If you've ever been to like Sevierville, there's Dollywood, you know, the theme park. And this drop cloth action kind of makes me feel like redneck wood or something like that. Like this is like a redneck theme park with uh, a plastic drop cloth uh, to hide the crap behind. <laughs> This is a side going out to my little building that I built. Uh, I'm going to put stepping stones here. 
there's gonna be a little flower bed but all this over here instead of cleaning up the backyard Jennifer's idea was to put up drop cloths then you can just hide it so that's still on the plate uh, as soon as this party's over we're gonna start getting a dumpster and getting everything picked up back there but the patio turned out awesome there's over a thousand stones here I still have to finish right there at the very end near the corner of the house but these are rumble stone from Home Depot I built the fire pit Basically using adhesive to glue it all together. I bought a little gas log set, uh, piped the gas underneath the stones, uh, put a little key over there to start it up. I built the wall uh, on the back side, which looks good. Jennifer bought some furniture. The gazebo is pretty bad to the bone. We bought this at Lowe's, had to put that together. Uh, painted the back of the house. This is the culmination of all that crap. Still have to put up a, a light fixture and a outlet over there but for all intents and purposes this looks really good put the little pad over here for my other gas grill that plugs into the natural gas line and my Traeger is over here and it's finishing up cooking some brisket which has been on there since like last night at midnight and it's almost done uh, that's the temperature probe up there you can see and I'm anxiously waiting to put it in the cooler for tonight's party all right, so that's about it for the patio sock. It was a lot of work, a bunch of stones, a gazebo, but we've been spending a ton of time out here. It's really enjoyable to sit out at night with the fan going and uh, just in, enjoying a lot of our work. Uh, next video is going to be cleaning up the backyard, which will make Jerry happy, my buddy from BS Corner, because he's been complaining about that. And uh, let's see, had to buy a new vehicle because one got wrecked, uh, working on a Jeep, a lot of stuff coming up. Appreciate you watching. I think I'm about to get caught up around here. So that's awesome. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Key! Turner Wrenches.